now that we have talked about dictionary let's start building our authentication system so i'm going to uh delete this dictionary file and then save this as dictionary so that i can push this to the repo and you can have access to it okay i'll just take this out save that and close that file then open up my auth file again and delete all of this so now we have a clean uh, file to work with so again uh, we want to work on register and login system what would it contain to register they supply their username and uh, and password okay and to login they supply the same set of data username and password so let us see is there a way i can make this a little better uh, so maybe we can generate user id you know generate user id so that would be uh, what we will use for the key then their details will be the value so uh, that means we can have multiple things here let's accept username password and also uh, what else can we accept maybe um email address yeah email okay so for them to log in they can use their username and password or should we try username email username or email and password yeah this is good uh yeah this is actually good so finally i think this is enough and then finally there will be some bank operations yeah that's good operations for them to perform which will be the things i've been doing before in our past um, uh, code so let's create the skeleton for this let's start with the def defining the login function which would accept a name a password or well, actually let's not do that yet so let's create a login function let's say this is the login function okay all right i, sh I shouldn't terminate all right so let's create the register function and say again print it this is register function just ignore the spelling or let me fix that okay register function and then create the bank operation uh which is going to be what we've had before saying that uh supply of which option would you like to do so let's just say print uh, print some operations okay that should work so we have three functions we'll be working with in this program uh, but we need an entry point we need uh we need a way for people to enter into the system okay so we can we can actually make that a function and say in it like initializing the system and this is what happens in here we say welcome welcome to bank what should our bank be uh, i don't know if this is a real bank uh, i don't know what to say okay okay bank rob that's fine bank rob that's kind of weird though um okay let's say bank p h p okay yeah this is good bank php yeah bank php so let's say welcome to bank php print do you have account with us all right maybe our user id should be generate user account that makes sense so we have account to generate for the user yes then we need a function to actually generate account yep so generate uh, account number so this function is going to just be generating account number for the users so uh account number generator so that once they get into the system once they try to register we generate a account number for them assign it to them and then they can use that to log into the system later all right so moving on we are trying to initialize our system we are using functions through us we have a function login i'm going to move this guy up because that's the first one we're working with or working on um okay so let's add the comments here initializing the system 
okay that's for this so we are saying welcome we are saying uh, do you have an account with us this is not going to say this is not going to ask them to enter a value so uh, have account. so this is asking if they have an account with us and then we can say input um, input is actually an integer so let's wrap that at once yes one for yes and then two for no so depending on the option they select we would then present to them uh, either to register or to log in so if they have account they log in if they, have if they don't have account they register so if have account is you know this actually is going to be yes or no uh one or two um actually you know what let's make no to be zero maybe a little add to yeah let's leave it as two so uh so we are going to be saying if this is one that means that means they have an account with us so we are going to say login otherwise Going to, because they have to select one option or oh, yeah let's let's not do that let's make it explicit uh, so if our account is two then we're going to say register and otherwise we're going to say uh, print i hope this my screen is big enough let's increase the font a little increase the font a little um yeah this is good Okay, so moving on, uh, I think I have an error somewhere, but I'll finish this first. So you have selected invalid option. All right, so that should do it. So we're welcoming them to the system, and then we're asking them to select an option. And that should do. So now I'm going to, well, let's run this first so the entrance point is what we are going to be calling first um let's create a uh, let's create this here system initial uh, actual actual banking system banking system this is this might be a little long uh, i might split it up a little i mean i might split it up at some point but maybe long because i i didn't have this planned anyway i'm just I'm just actually just doing it now so let's initialize our system with the initialize function uh, so what we expect is that we should get welcome to the system we should be asked if we have an account or not if we have an account we get register then this gets printed out if we don't have an account we get login or we get register sorry and then this gets printed out and if we select the wrong option we get this printed out All right so let's try this now I'm going to my terminal by the way i'm going to clear this and then i'm going to say python you can also do this rather than doing this run thing here so python uh the name of the file is auth.py and it says welcome to bank php do you have account with us one for yes okay i forgot to send them to the next line which i always like to do so let's just add that there but anyway let me select one and this is a login function i'm going to rerun this code let's select two and this is register function again run it again and select the wrong option you have selected an invalid option now i don't want the system to just shut down once this is once this happens i want it to send them back here so to do that we are going to use a while loop I know I said during the while loop class that I don't really like using it, but you know, again, sometimes you have to just use it. I don't want to use a follow because I have no idea how many times they will keep trying. A follow loop requires that I will know how many times we need to try. Okay, but a while loop can keep running until they actually select what you want them to select. So what I'm going to do is to add a checker and say is option is valid option selected this is probably an overkill but i wanted to show you how to do it and always be false initially so while what i'm going to do now is to come here 
and say while is valid option selected is false so every time this is false always run this so as soon as a valid option is selected then i'm going to set this to true so that that loop can stop running two is also a valid option and this is not a valid option so it remains false and then it comes back up here and run this same thing over and over again until i select the right option so let's try this um hopefully it works i'm going to run my i'm going to clear this and then run my code again python py so it says welcome blah blah select one option i'm selecting one that works properly i'm selecting two that also works so let's clear it for the actual thing we want to test so i'm going to select run the code select four and it says you have selected invalid option and then it asks me to do the same thing again so select six you have selected an invalid option do you want do you have an account with us comes up again so this is what we want it keeps asking them until eventually they select the right option and then the function goes through now again we are not going to be shutting down once they select the right option we need to uh, we need to do something inside registration then after registration is successful successful we send them to bank operation but you get the idea now so the next function we need to work on is uh the bank the, how to generate um the account number but i'm going to be stopping here for this particular i said i was going to try to cut it into different bits so you can go ahead and implement this and also try to see how you can do this basically you're just going to be generating account number find out how to generate random numbers and specify uh, the starting and the ending in in python and that would help you to determine how you create your account number and then you can now save that into a database or a dictionary so let's create that here actually we're going to be saying our database is going to be an empty dictionary so this is going to be our database and then once we come to the next video we are going to continue implementing from this function right here